Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 5th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. I always like to check the lake first thing in the morning and there was actually a decent number and variety of ducks on the water this morning so I had fun picking through them with my scope. And as one example, here's a group of ring-necked ducks. I would have watched the lake longer, but a big flight of crows and red-winged blackbirds picked up, so I wanted to count those and pick through them. The weather in the morning was a bit more mild than recent days, with temperatures starting in the low 40s and light southeasterly winds, but really it felt a bit chilly just because the air was so damp. The first migrant of the day was this northern harrier that was distant out over the lake. We had our first kill deer of the season yesterday, but this one today gave us a much nicer and closer look. Kill deer are a type of shorebird. They're a plover. You can see that relatively short bill, and they have the double breast band. Here's an American crow that's missing a feather or two in the left wing, and I mentioned that there was a big crow flight in the morning, especially between around 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., and total for the morning, I had over 3,400 American crows. So really impressive flight of crows again today. And the blackbirds were just as amazing. I counted over 8,000 red-winged blackbirds migrating this morning. Here's a group of wood ducks, which was a species that was new for the season today. I also had the first snow geese of the season today, and these eight individuals were mixed into a flock of Canada geese and heading back south, so I guess they didn't like what they saw farther north. I heard the first song sparrow of the season singing this morning, and I was able to track it down for this photo. And the second and final migrating raptor of the morning was this red-tailed hawk. Throughout the morning, there was on and off drizzle, so it's nice that there's a little bit of shelter to hide underneath. In the morning, I had a total of 52 species. And by 10 a.m., it had developed into a steady drizzle, so I paused the hawk watch and came back inside, and my entertainment was watching the bird feeders and watching the squirrels try to get up on the bird feeders. I think they're having a more and more difficult time as the snow melts and gets lower and lower. It becomes a greater jump for them, but they keep trying. By mid-afternoon, the rain had passed, so I resumed the hawk watch. And at exactly 3 p.m., this northern harrier migrated past, and since it's brown overall with a lot of streaking to the underside, we know it's an adult female northern harrier. And the female wasn't even out of sight yet when I spotted these two adult male northern harriers coming towards me. I really like this photo that I got of them with the stare of the bottom bird, and you have the second bird in the background. And here's that first adult male northern harrier coming through. We can see all the classic field marks, the overall white plumage with the gray head and owl-like facial disc, but some black to the wingtips and the trailing edge of the secondaries. And this individual is a little more lightly marked. You can see it's got a little bit of markings on the upper breast and not too much in the wings. Compare that to the second bird, which has a little bit stronger markings to the underside of the body and the wings. A little while later, I was scoping a distant adult male northern harrier, and something caught my attention, and I looked up, and there was another adult male northern harrier right overhead pretty low. So this is the photo I got of that one as it was going away. One of the highlights of the afternoon was a flock of around 20 snow buntings. I like this photo because it shows two very close together in the same posture with very different plumages. I believe the bottom one would be an adult male, and this top one, I don't know if that's a female or an immature, but one of the duller plumages. Here's another adult male northern harrier, and this one shows some more variation because it's somewhat heavily marked, but instead of those strong dots we saw on the other bird, this one's got more barring to the underside of the body and the wings. Here's the top side of the male northern harrier, and there's also some variation to the color. Some of them are more grayish and some of them are more brown. And of course, we see that white rump patch that all northern harriers show. Here we have a cute sparrow with a plain breast except for a dot and a bicolored bill that's black on top and yellow below. This is an American tree sparrow. Here we have yet another northern harrier, and this is one of the brown types, and we see a lot of streaking underneath, so we know that it's not an immature, but rather it's an adult female. And you see this big bulge here? This has a full crop, which means that it has eaten recently. And by the time the sun was going down, it was starting to clear up a little bit, and it turned into kind of a nice sunset. In the afternoon, I had a total of 43 species. 
In total, today I had 54 species. And five of those species were new for the season. Those were snow goose, wood duck, green-winged teal, song sparrow, and brown-headed cowbird, bringing us to a total of 66 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 11 northern harriers and one red-tailed hawk for a total of 12 migrating raptors. That brings us to a season total of 38 raptors, and northern harriers have been showing strong the past two days, coming to a total of 14. One other non-raptor highlight to point out, I saw a chipmunk today. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy with snow showers developing in the afternoon. The morning high temperature will be 39, with temperatures falling throughout the day to around 30. The wind will start southwest around 8 miles per hour and strengthen to a strong westerly wind in the afternoon. So overall, the conditions are looking better in the morning tomorrow. I think once the winds strengthen and shift more west, the flight may shut down, especially if snow showers are moving in. But should end up being a decent morning, I would expect. And then looking ahead to Friday and Saturday, it's stronger, more northwesterly winds will probably be at the south lookout, and I would expect not too much migration for those days. All right, another great day of hawk watching. No visitors today, so I got to enjoy all of the low and close northern harriers all by myself. And it was really cool to see all of those crows and red-winged blackbirds migrating. And it's fun to see what new species are showing up every day. And with some southerly winds tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if we have some more new arrivals tomorrow. Hope you can join us soon out at the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.